Hey, aloha and welcome to working in pajamas. Yes, this is the pajama mama and I want to share with you about something that happened not too long ago. Uh, somebody that ended up in the hospital because of the work that they do. They deal with a lot of different chemicals and uh, they have a cleaning company and the chemicals that they use they know that they are toxic and so they actually have breathing mask but what they were not aware of is that the breathing mask was defective and so the gentleman ended up in the hospital so i want to share with you a little bit about what you use in your home because yes you do not have a cleaning company per se um, or you may have i don't know but i do believe that your home should be the safest place in the whole world for you and your family. And uh, to go into the real dirt on clean, did you know that there are over 81,000 chemicals that have been registered with the US EPA in the past 30 years? And not even 20% of those have been tested for toxicity. So not to get scary or anything, but 90% of all the poison exposures do occur at home. And actually there are over 20 million Americans that have asthma. And on the average, there's one out of every 13 school age child that, that has asthma. And that is actually increasing more and more. And common, common household cleaners and also appliances, carpets, bedding, all those things, especially when they're brand new when it comes to appliances, they give off fumes that can potentially increase the risk for children to develop asthma. And so as we know, our kids are a compact version of ourselves. And so when they're inhaling the different fumes, they're getting a higher concentration because their body is smaller. And did you know that the average US household does generate more than 20 pounds of hazardous waste every year? That is huge. And so when those also are disposed of in properly, then there's other effects, other um, damages to where it poses a threat to human health. So why would you even want to have those in your home? Take a look at what is under your sink. Do you have things like chlorine bleaches, which is a chemical that is most frequently used in households and, and also the one of the top poisoning um, chemicals uh, that occurs in the household. There's degreasers, there's glass cleaners, oven cleaners, toilet bowl cleaners, all those different type of cleaning products have something to be looking at. For example, sodium hydroxide. The inhalation is immediately irritating to the respiratory tract and it can cause severe damage to eyes, skin, mouth, and spine. Throat. It can also cause liver and kidney damage. So why would you want to have that in your house? Do you know what is in your house that might have sodium hydroxide? And the thing is, they do not have to list every single products when uh, cleaning products are made. But you can find it in a lot of dishwashing liquids, laundry products, oven cleaners, scouring cleaners, tub and tile cleaners, and so on. Another one is hydrochloric acid. That one can cause severe damage to the skin. It can be harmful to the health if inhaled. It's also fatal if swallowed and you find those in like odor eliminators and toilet bowl cleaners. And we can go on and on like butyl cellosolve. Um, that's another one that you want to look out for. But what can you do? Get yourself educated. There is a website that you can go to where um, it's for the National Institute of Health and Household Product Database and you can find out what is in your home. And when you're on there, you can enter the name of a particular chemical to see what brands that they're in. And you can look at the toxicity information or health information on that chemical. And uh, basically also what you wanna do is if you have products in your home that are toxic, you want to dispose of those properly. And um, the majority of residential areas will have a household toxic waste disposal day and 
you'll be surprised at some of the things that they actually have on their list of items that ex that are accepted for the toxic or the harm harmful waste um, disposal days, such as shampoos and different things that you don't actually think about as being harmful. So with that said, let's take a look at some solutions. So Shackley for over 50 years has created products to improve the health of people and the planet at the same time. Back in 1960, Basic H was one of the very first biodegradable non-toxic cleaner. Now we actually have Basic H squared, which is twice, twice as concentrated. But Basic H was elected as the very first official Earth Day product and also it's used on, on the, by the Cousteau Society, so Jacques Cousteau on his ships, and Biosphere Project, and many other environmental groups. So Shackley products are safe, powerful, green, and smart. They provide you with safe cleaning, and like I said earlier, I believe that your home should be the safest place in the whole world. So with the Shackley products, you know that you're uh, getting clean choices that are non-toxic, not look non-toxic and natural. And also it doesn't contain harmful ingredients such as the VOCs, the volatile organic compound. So those are things that um, when it's there, it just volatile, it just evaporates there. The kerosenes, the phenols, the cresols, the lyes, the hydrochloric acid, sulfuric acid, Sulfamic acid, petroleum distillate, ammonia. Oof, I had an experience with ammonia not too long ago. Uh, not from my house, but somewhere else, at somebody else's house. Sodium hydroxide, butyl cellosol, phosphoric acid, formaldehyde, chlorine bleach, morpholine. Those are just some of the ingredients that you want to be watching out for, and Shackley does not have those in those products. Now, we do believe that you do not have to sacrifice powerful cleaning for, um, like your conviction for powerful cleaning. So if you look at the comparisons, Shackley products are actually proven to be very effective. Like the hand dishwash liquid concentrate was proven to be 32% more effective than the Clorox Green Works natural dishwashing liquid and 92% more effective than the seventh generation free and clear natural dish liquid. And the list goes on and on and on. I could go over those with you. But instead, let's look at what uh, choices you get with Shackley. You get sustainable ingredients from natural sources. You get biodegradable products. You get recyclable packaging. You get recyclable wipes. Shackley is like the only company that I know of where even like the dryer sheets are made from plant fibers. And so when you're done with using the sheets, you can put them in the compost if you wanted. Uh, re totally recyclable. There's no chlorine bleach, no phosphates, no nitrates, no borates, no VOCs. And Shackley also does not test on animals, which is something huge for some of us um, that we believe in uh, protecting animals and not causing harm to other beings. So by not doing animal testing, that is something very important to us. Going back to the basic H squared that we that I uh, mentioned earlier, some of the cleaning credentials, besides being non-toxic and using sustainable ingredients that are from natural sources, it is ultra concentrated, biodegradable, and no phosphates. So for example, it is so concentrated that one 16 ounce bottle will make 48 ounces of all-purpose cleaner. Or if you're making window cleaner because you use just two drops in 16 ounces of water to make your window cleaner, you are going to replace over 5,000 bottles of a um, window cleaner such as Windex or there's some other window cleaners out there, but it will replace over 5,000 bottles of those. So if you're making all-purpose cleaner, it'll come out to less than five cents a bottle, for example. Or if you're making window cleaner, it's less than a penny per bottle. And degreaser, it comes out to roughly 33 cents a bottle. So as you can see, it is super concentrated, very cost-effective, very friendly for the wallet. So with Get Clean, you get something that is smart for your wallet, smart for your family, and also smart for the planet. We do offer it as a starter kit to where you can get everything 
anything to replace all the cleaning products in your home or you can just do pick and choose maybe um, you do not have a washing machine for example and somebody else does your laundry for you maybe you have a laundry service I don't know but I would like to invite you to make a difference make a difference by switching from conventional brands to the Get Clean products that Shackley offers. By switching just to the Get Clean kit, you are going to eliminate 108 pounds of packaging waste because these are so concentrated. And so that's 108 pounds of waste eliminated from landfills. You're also eliminating 248 pounds of greenhouse gases. Think about that. Think of how many trees you need to plant to counteract that effect. And actually it is the equivalent of planting 10 trees. So we do believe that the small act of scouring the sink can make a giant act of changing the world. So I invite you to get educated, get rid of those hazardous chemicals that are around you in your home and go ahead and get clean. Get started with get clean today. If someone invited you to watch this video that possibly might be a Shackley distributor, just get back to them and ask them. Ask them about a membership so you can get discounts and also possibly ask them about the um, 1049 kit that they can show you how to get that for free. So the 1049 kit, meaning $1,049, you get over $22,000 worth of Shackley goodies and you can get that for free. So get back to the person that shared this video with you and let them know that you're interested, whether you're interested in making a change to eliminate all, all those toxins from your home, or maybe you want to help others do the same as well. So let's talk about maybe you just want to use, maybe you want to use and share a little bit, or you want to build a business. Let us um, go over what would be the best fit for you. So ask us how to get it for free. I am Marianne from momisthebest.com and I'm also the pajama mama. I love working in pajamas. As you can see today I am enjoying again my elephant pajamas. But until next time I'm going to say toodle pip. Until then, toodle pip.